Okay, so at this point I've now put this texture onto my mesh in Marmoset just to see what it's kind of what it's looking like. Uh, so you can set this to be unlit as well, so I can just see the texture without any lighting on it at all. And you can quite often see at this point if there's any, if you've made any kind of mistakes with the way you've put the light and the shadow in. This area here is maybe looking like there's a bit too much light coming off there. Uh, there should be maybe a bit more down here. But it's not looking too bad. So if I jump back into Photoshop and it's basically it's just a case of refining this now. So first of all I can start blending. I can I you know I can do another kind of pass over over blending my all of my colours. Like that and just go through and, and get this blending really completely right. Um, I can come in and take a really bright colour, so almost a pure white, and start to paint in some of these speculars. So just a bit off the edge, and also off these edges here. So I'm just starting to paint this in kind of neatly now. Like that. So maybe just take a bit of this dark colour and just put it down one side as well, just very subtly, and that'll just make that edge pop even more. So there's not a lot to say about the, this blade part other than just keep on going, keep on blending everything together, make sure that you you get the fine detail into your light and shadow. Uh, with these kind of areas where there's, you've got quite a, a strong kind of speck coming off, um, it's often a good idea just to really highlight one little corner like that. Uh, so you can you know, paint that in a bit more neatly than that, but you can highlight just these little parts here. Just maybe pick out some tiny little bits where you're gonna you're gonna really kind of push the highlights a lot like that, and that again that'll just make it look a, a little bit more metallic. So in terms of the the wood, uh, first of all, it's just a case of coming in and working in a bit more detail. So I'd probably do this with a square brush actually, um, just because I think that works better for getting a kind of wooden look. Maybe just paint in some little chips and stuff into it. Um, so just whenever you're painting this stuff in, just remember to paint a bit of dark in and then just get a light colour and then you can kind of paint in the the light sides of it. So let's maybe get a bit of a bright colour. So you can just paint in some of these shapes like this. It's kind of it is really simple to do this. It's just a case of putting a dark edge in and then putting a, a light edge in underneath. So just keep on going and kind of adding adding in more and more detail to this. Adding in a bit of the kind of grains of the wood.
mess with the opacity of these, so just turn that down a bit maybe. Another thing that works quite well is to use a to add a new layer and set this to color dodge and then you can pick a nice kind of bright color. And if you if I just paint this in now, you can kind of see that it, it doesn't completely wipe out what was underneath. So you can do this and pick out some of the the large highlights and shadows a bit better. Like that, and then obviously, again, you can just blend that, turn that down. So you can just see how this is slowly building detail up in this area. Another thing that you can try is add a new layer, get a nice square, normal square brush, and just kind of randomize this a lot. So if you go to uh, and turn the spacing right up, something like 100%, like that, turn the size jitter the angle jitter uh, and even the roundness jitter up as well, turn on scattering, uh, mess with the opacity jitter and then you can get maybe a dark colour like this. Oh, that's a bit too big. And then just start to paint in some kind of chips like that. So some of these might work, some of them might not, and you can just delete them. If they do work, then what we can do to finish those off is just come back to our normal square brush. And if I get a pick a bright colour, and then I can just paint a bit of a highlight onto the bottom of that, like this. So if I don't like them, then I can just I can just kind of paint them back out. The ones that I do like, or the bits of the ones that I like, I can just pick an edge and highlight it where the light's coming off it, and then pick a dark colour and just darken the other edge so it's a bit more in shadow. And again, that'll just start to pick out, make some kind of quite interesting detail onto these. And as you're doing this, you'll start to kind of see shapes that you can pick out and maybe make a bit more interesting. So this part's just going to be quite time consuming to get this wood done again, mess with the opacity on that and just just bring it right down or even set it to an overlay, see if that works better. So yeah, just keep on going, adding in some more detail to the wood and uh, finish off blending this blade together. Then the next thing that you can do is start to paint in some more detail onto the blade in terms of scratches and stuff. So pick a nice dark colour like that. Oops. Oh, I can't see. Okay, so if we just get a dark colour and then we can just paint in a scratch. So. side and then just painting the light side to it as well like that and maybe get a really bright white and just put a little bit of a speck just on the corner on the edge there maybe paint it a little bit on that side as well So 
that should paint in the scratches and uh, the big chips in it and all that kind of stuff. You can also just get some smaller details. If you have any layer, just get a bit of a, a mid tone colour like this and paint in some just some little shapes like this and again darken the top just lighten the bottom like that and you can turn the opacity right down on those just to make a little bit of detail into the blade